So now in this video, we're going to make the uh, PNP, Bipolar Junction Transistor Emitter Follower, right here. We'll be able to set a voltage across the load, a percentage of the power supply voltage. So we have here the uh, 2N3906, and with the 2N3906, left pin is the emitter, middle pin is the base, right pin is the collector. So if I turn it this way, now the emitter is on top, base in the middle, collector on the bottom like you see in the schematic. So we're going to uh, put that to the breadboard, base to the orange jumper, and the collector to the uh, gray jumper, right there. We're gonna take the uh, trim pot, so this is a, a voltage divider that we can vary based on the uh, setting that we have it. Middle pin is the uh, wiper right there. So the middle pins are gonna go to the orange jumper, the other two pins to the other uh, jumpers, one to the positive rail, one to the negative rail, and so we're going to use 12 volts. Right now it's going to be somewhere around 6 volts, 12 volts, and then we can go down to uh, 0 volts right there. Now, we need, we don't absolutely need this resistor, but this resistor really helps. So we're going to grab a 10 kilo ohm resistor. It helps hold the uh, voltage that we set under uh, certain circumstances. So it's a good idea to always add it right there. Now, we are going to uh, actually get the multimeter before we add our load. Our load is just going to be uh, LED protected by a resistor. So now we got uh, the multimeter ready. I can set it to measure uh, voltage. We can turn it on. It's always uh, usually safe to measure voltage as long as you're not dealing with way too much voltage. And uh, we have 12 volts at the uh, supply right now. Let's actually turn the, uh, I got to hit the power button to set the output on. So now it's powering the board. We'll have a little bit of current because we do have, after all, the uh, trim pot and uh, that resistor that are passing a tiny bit of current. So now we're going to grab the uh, black probe here and plug the jumper on the uh, more negative side of the resistor. What we're interested in, let's actually go between the resistor and the transistor, what we're interested in is the voltage across the resistor, right there. So we got to put the uh, two probes. I have the red probe here with an alligator clip. I'm going to put uh, alligator clip clip to a jumper. And there we have the voltage across the uh, resistor. So again, it's close to 6 volts. Since this is a PNP transistor though, the way that we have this wired up, if I go more positive, you can see we actually have less voltage across the resistor. That's because it's positive on that side, and then also positive on that side. Whereas if I go more negative, then we get a higher voltage difference across there. So that's important to realize with the PNP uh, by polar junction transistor wired as an emitter follower. So we're going to go up to about uh, 5 volts. I don't want to drop below 5 volts though. It just looks a little awkward when it's 4.9. It looks a little bit better when it's 5.1. So, in any case, now we will grab the uh, LED as our load. And so the uh, cathode goes to the emitter of the PNP bipolar junction transistor, the short lead. Long lead the anode up one row. And then we will grab a 220 ohm resistor, put that to the uh, positive rail right there. So now you can see the LEDs lit up and it's still holding about 5 volts and uh, looks like it's going up as the transistor warms up. More currents going through the transistor. It's warming up a bit. So in any case this is probably about uh, the most voltage you'd want to work with about 12 volts with these uh, transistors. But there you can see we have across that resistor which is in parallel with that resistor and that LED 5 volts right there uh, pretty well and we can lower it if we want we can go down or we could go up but again I'm only using a 220 ohm resistor so I don't want to go up more than about 6 volts uh, right there so there we go that's about the maximum but let's uh, work our way back down to about 5 and we can look at the uh, voltage at the base you'll see it's actually higher so I'm gonna go to the uh, base that's where the trim pot is the voltage that the trim pot sets it's straight across there you can see it's about 0.6 volts higher. So we actually have to, or uh, lower I mean, we actually have to set the voltage at the trim pot slightly lower than the voltage we want across the uh, load right there. So in any case, 
that is it uh, for this video. Make sure you check out one of the other videos that I'm posting. Click like, subscribe, the bell, and all that. I will see you in the next video.